Key logging is a method of recording a computer's keystrokes for later review. There can be both software and hardware based key loggers and their purpose is to intercept the signal from the keyboard to the computer. Hardware key loggers are the most reliable but not really the most undetectable unless you're the type of person that never looks behind your computer. They consist of mainly a microcontroller that's used for data logging and other miscellaneous electronic components. And unfortunately, I don't have access to these components, so I'm not able to show you how to build your own. But if you're interested, this page will take you step by step in showing you how to build one. A software keylogger functions as a program or script that runs in the background of a computer. The basic version of a software keylogger, which I will show you how to make in a minute, merely logs the keystrokes to a text file so that you can then retrieve them. More advanced keyloggers, such as the AllSpy keylogger, allows you to log keys, screenshots, instant message conversations, and have them automatically emailed to you or uploaded to a server. Although the software is not free, they've agreed to provide free three-month licenses to 50 of my viewers. So if that's something that you're interested in, please read the video description for more. As for making your own basic keylogger, you will need to know how to program. And while there are several different programming languages out there that can make keyloggers, I'm going to be using Python because it's the simplest programming language for keylogging. So open up a web browser and go to www.python.org to get a copy of the Python programming language. Click on the download link and download and install version 2.6. After you have Python installed on your computer, the next thing you'll need to do is go to pyhook.sourceforge.net and click on the downloads link and then download and install pyhook for Python 2.6. The last thing that we'll need to download is found at www.sourceforge.net slash project slash pywin32. And you'll want to download the version of pywin32 for Python 2.6. Once you have all three of these items installed, open up the Python GUI by going to the start menu, clicking on all programs, going to Python 2.6, and selecting idle Python GUI. In the interface shell, go to File, New Window to start making a new project. The first thing we will do is import all the necessary modules that we're going to need in order to make this run. The Win32 modules are what we're going to use to manipulate the Windows environment, such as minimizing windows or making them hidden altogether. Python Calm and PyHook provide the necessary code to capture and interpret the keyboard keys. This line of code is to hide the Python command window so that this program runs without any windows popping up. Now here we create an exit script that uses ASCII value 5 to end the program. ASCII value 5 is the same thing as hitting control E on your keyboard. This script tells the code not to log any shift keys and then to open up uh, our log file which is found at c colon slash output dot text and read whatever's in it and save it to a variable called buffer and then close the file and now we're gonna reopen up our log file again and this time we're gonna write to it and we're gonna save all of our log information as a variable called key logs and then this line of code uh, detects whenever the return key is hit and replaces the return key with the symbol forward slash n and now we're going to combine all of our key logs with the original buffer file and then write that buffer file to output.txt and then close it. And now this last code creates the hook manager and then this next line watches for all the keyed events and then we're going to set the hook that captures all these events and then we're going to record it. When you've got all that, go to File, Save, and save it to your C drive as logger.py. Now go to your C drive and double click on it, and you may see a console for a split second, but it should go away pretty quick. Then just start typing something, and whenever you're through, hit Control E to stop the logger, and now open up output.txt, also found in your C drive, and you should see everything that you just typed. 
Now, again, this is just the basics of a keylogger. If you're wanting something more full featured, then be sure to check out the All Spies keylogger at the URL below. All right, well, that's it for this tutorial. For more, go to tinkernut.com.